Hey guys, okay, we're ready for step two. So um, we are gonna continue to add our layers to our celebrity as we go. So what we're looking for today is our facial features, mapping all of those out. We're not talking about shadows quite yet. So I'll probably get his eyes, his eyebrows, his nose, his mouth done today, and maybe his glasses, okay? All right, so remember, just a reminder, option command plus in Google will zoom you in. And then option command minus will zoom you back out. We're always going to work on our left and then drag to our right. So I'm going to start out with Daniel Levy's most famous characteristic. And I would say that's his eyebrows. His dad is pretty famous for them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use that polyline tool. And it gets a little tricky because his glasses are in the way. But remember that we're making assumptions. And then we're letting it snap. We're using our select tool, and then we're gonna drag that over. Now, this is when it's gonna be really important to um, move things forward and back so that you can see. So I'm actually going to bring this back over here, and I'm gonna let it hang out, and I'm gonna move the order of my photo and bring that forward. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow so I can move them kind of at the same time. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna be smart about this. So I'm gonna actually go backwards in time. Okay, I am going to leave the eyebrow there. And then I'm going to trace the next one. So I'm actually gonna leave the eyebrow where it is because I'm gonna show you how to group something together. And it will work for our eyes and our eyebrow, and then any time that you have something that's two pieces that you want to move together. Okay, so there's his two eyebrows, and I wanna make sure I get them in the right spots. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom back over here. I'm going to reorder the photo, so that's there. Now I'm gonna slide over here, and I'm gonna select on these two, and I'm gonna go up into um, a range, and I'm gonna say group. And so now that they're, they're gonna move together. So I am going to change to the hair color, which should have saved when you made a custom color, and get rid of the outline. All right, and now I'm gonna zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to drag those grouped eyebrows over here. Now. It's tricky because um, you can't quite see what you're doing, right? And I just accidentally adjusted. So um, what you might need to do, hang on, I'm gonna go backwards a step, is I'm gonna make sure that these are at the front right now. So I'm gonna bring them to the front. So I'm gonna reorder them so that they stay to the front. Pardon my getting close to my screen. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see better. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'd wanna say maybe I'd scotch down. And you can, um, I accidentally double clicked. It will let you move one at a time, even though you've grouped things together. Um, it's not like Photoshop, it won't merge them together. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so once I have them there, um, now I can send this picture back to the back again. And now you can see them on your project. So we're coming to life. All right, so we're gonna kind of keep that that kind of ball rolling. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes next. This one is gonna be a little tricky because of his glasses. It might not look like full shapes for now. Switching back to my polyline. And when I trace, um, I'm tracing as much as I can. I'm tracing over the edge. You don't wanna make something smaller than it is in life because it's just gonna look a little weaker um, when you get it finished or, you know something just might not look the same all right so i'm gonna finish that one i'm gonna come over here and do this one kind of the same mentality i used for the eyebrows for over here i have to kind of trace where the edge of the glasses is And uh, remember, just trace. Don't think about it. Like, 
if I told you that was an I on the left, you'd be like, what? But it is. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and group them. So again, I'm going to switch to my arrow, group them together. Oops. Arrange, group, get rid of my outline. And then um, for coloration for the eyes to start, um, I'm actually going to do them in just like a skin tone to start. Um, but I am going to have to custom color this so that it looks a little bit different. And I'm just going to make it slightly darker. Okay. And yeah, it looks creepy for now, but I promise you it's going to, it's going to be great when we get it going. All right. So I'm going to do the same mentality. I'm going to move my picture to the front on this side, come back over here, grab these, move these to the front. And now I'm going to slide them over. All right, and I'm gonna drag them carefully using my glasses to help me line them up. So try to find something on your image that will help you align them. I have my spinny rainbow wheel of death. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you, but yay for Google always saving things so that if that doesn't ha if that happens to you, it's not the end of the world. All right. Let's see. I'm that looks pretty good. All right, so now I can go ahead and move that picture back to the back. Okay, good. And so now it doesn't look as creepy. You kind of understand why I did what I did with the um, different color skin tone for the eyes. Now, eventually we'll go back in there and we will layer in the whites of the eyes, the colors of the eyes. But for right now, we are, remember, we're just doing basic shapes to um, get our facial features together. So I'm going to go ahead and do the um, nose and the mouth next. So again, we slide over to the left, zoom in. And if you're like, Mrs. Vance, I get this, I got this, then start working. No worries on watching the entire video if you think you understand. But at the same time, I'm going to ask you like, hey, did you watch the video? Did you see this part? If you ended up doing something kind of crazy. All right. For the nose, you have to be careful because nose um, actually doesn't have a lot of bone structure. We're made of cartilage in our noses. So we have to be uh, um, careful about tracing and making it look super cray cray. We don't want the shape to be really awkward. Um, I'm going around my nostrils. Um, we'll worry about adding in that shadow later on. Okay, so there's my nose. I'm gonna go ahead and, oop, that's not what I wanted to do. It's definitely not the color I wanted. So I'll put that back in. I think that's the same color I just made for the eyes. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and move that over. But I'm actually going to go ahead and do the mouth. And that way I can drag them over at the same time. So I'm going to go down here, trace the lips. Lips are tricky too. Again, you want to kind of make sure you're on the outside edge. Because if you go inward too much, they're going to be really skinny. And he doesn't have very voluptuous lips if you're doing a female. Um, they're going to maybe have a little bit more kind of action going on in their lips. But I want to make sure they're not too skinny. So I am going on the outermost edge I think I can to make them kind of make sense. All right. And it's going to snap back together. And there's our lips. I am going to change the coloration of the lips to a little bit more of a pink value. Um, that's going to help me more than anything. It's going to help me remember that they're there and that they need to be addressed a little bit further. All right, so I'm gonna slide over here. I'm going to change my tool to my select order, bring to front, come back over to this side. I'm gonna group the nose and the mouth together. There's nothing wrong with doing that for right now. You can always ungroup them, um, but that way they'll move together and be in the right spots. I'm gonna zoom out once, and I'm gonna bring these to the front. He's gonna look a little looks a little clown like right now like Charlie Chaplin and then I'm going to slide these over oh but didn't come with me hang on there we are all right so I'm going to move these over you can use your arrow keys but it will jump with your arrow keys so you do have to 
kind of decide where you are starting and stopping. And that looks pretty good. Maybe a touchdown. And the best way to do that is to zoom in. If you're finding you can't do it a subtle enough movement, you just gotta um, zoom in and then you can drag a little bit more carefully. And the more you zoom in, the more careful it will allow you to move. The more you're zoomed back out, the bigger the movement it will make. Okay, so he looks like a clown, but we're gonna make that go away in a second. Send that to the back. All right, so I think you can see where this is going. Um, I would say I will probably not do the glasses yet. I think we need to finish the eyes completely before we layer those glasses on. Um, so even though it looks a little odd right now, um, this is kind of where I want you to stop today. So I want you to get facial features on there. Um, and I think I might make one more thing today. It's bothering me that I can't see his jawline. So I think what I'm gonna do is trace the neck shape and make that a darker shade and get that on there. And that's where I'm gonna finish today. So kind of do what I'm doing right now. Stand back, ask yourself like, all right, do I look like, I, like I've got that second layer going or do I need to do a little bit more? And so I've decided I need to do one more step and that's gonna really make me happy about getting his um, structure correct. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna trace his neck and do it as carefully as I can. And this way we can um, layer this on there and give him a chin. And it doesn't mean that we're not done with this because he's kind of got like highlights on the right side of the face. So we might go and add, you know, more shaping later on with lighter values on the right and darker values on the left. But again, that's more of a final step scenario. And now I get it gets a little wishy-washy in here because it gets so dark that you can't quite see where the, the jawline is. But just do your best. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make this. I'm going to grab that custom value again. But I'm going to make it darker. Say okay. So now it'll save that. I know it seems a little dark right now, but it's fine. All right. So then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. Actually, no. I don't know if I need to for this time. So let's see. Let's see if I can do it without moving the order of the picture. So I'm going to grab this. Because I should be able to align this with the original shirt value. So yeah, I think I'm going to be fine. So I'm going to zoom in, scroll over, and start lining that up. And if it doesn't line up perfectly, it's not the end of the world for now. You can stretch it and make it like a little bit bigger. And that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm making it sort of fit where the edge of uh, the shirt is a little bit more and covering up a little bit. All right, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna zoom out, unclick so you can kind of see our side-by-side -side comparison and I'm feeling pretty good. He's coming to life. So I think you see where we're going here um, and then we'll start adding in our details tomorrow. Thanks guys.